Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction to Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 34. Okay, last chapter, you know, they uh, kind of had some merriment in the weird village. <laughs> um, they met the village elder. He uh, kind of knocked the hell out of San, knew who he was, which is interesting um and uh everyone may be eating people also there may be avalons i don't know i'm just that's based on that little image of what that uh one guy was showing them i forgot his name and also we're gonna get a rescue by the b team basically so uh yeah anyway cover is uh, kind of creepy with all of the darkened eyes and creepy faces and the elder in the background looming he's like I am evil deal with it bitch um the title is true nature's exposed okay alrighty they're about to pass through the barrier but the hunter does not want to oh wait he can't is it because he has no magic or something? It burned him. Damn. Good luck, kids. It all depends on you. Yo, hey, you monsters over there. Look at me. What? Uh, why is he just... Okay. Um, I know exactly who y'all are. Get the hell out of these mountains right now, damn it. Is Art going to be all right? Hurry, Nassians. Come on. Haha, <laughs> you coming for me, you freaks? They actually are. So he's just acting as a diversion. Interesting. We're heading for the idol in the town center. Oh yeah, I forgot about the town idol. I still wonder why is it so goddamn obvious. If that's the case. Like, why would you make it some big target? You know, like a small idol made... You know, maybe in the elder's house or something. It would make more sense, right? Those two uh, cause us so much trouble, don't they? You mean Percival and Donnie? F forget Donnie. It's Percival who's the problem. After all the grief we went through and can't, it's like he can't learn a thing from it. No caution at all. Well, that's part of what makes him Percival, I think, that too. Aw. Miss Cian and your boy, love. Um, oh, quit being so kind to him. And Sin acts all pompous, but he ditches us right when we need him. If you're trying to be a holy knight, you got to make cold, calculated decisions under any circumstances. And you're griping about our friends under these? I'm not griping. I'm going to show him that I deserve to be a leader for you all. It's the perfect chance for that. So she's still vying for that. Okay. Oh, God. I'm trying to pronounce her name. Egghow had. Well, enough of that. Let's finish up our job. And, huh? Enough of what? <laughs> you just don't like being called your real name. And there's Donnie. Is he vomiting? Is that. Ugh. Donnie! He's got a headache, I guess. Hey, hello? What's going on? Go to the idol. Just call her Annie. Um, I'll take care of Donnie. I mean, you are the doctor. Uh, let's go, uh, Slivent. What? Me too? Uh-oh. I think some people are starting to notice them. Donnie, hang in there. Head's got to split open. Oh, are you going to turn into one of the monsters? Oh, no. We're surrounded. What happened to you? Not so loud it hurts my head. Are those... Uh, they're... Liquor bottles. <laughs> uh, Slyvent is looking already tired. God damn. This horse is worthless. Phew. <sighs> that voice. And it's, uh, Percival getting beat the shit out of by a child? 
No, Anne, if you dive in there. And her emotion, she's like, shocked. And he's like, no. And he's like, I gotta, I gotta do the mission. No, Anne, if you dive in there, you'll get caught with the rest of them. I gotta find the idol first for their sakes. And he gets back up and strikes the child. And doesn't really move them all that much. <laughs> Boy, you're strong. Percival. Mm, excuse me. So Nasian and Donnie are uh, convening with uh, Percival. Donnie, are you okay now? Yeah, fine. Fine. Uh, thanks to Nasians. Ah oh, man, that was some real demon brew. I've never been so sick from it. Demon brew, you say? What are you doing, Percival? I talk Gorin to everyone. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. You have a guy holding on to your precious helmet. Aww. And let me tell you, uh, Dolce Monte uh, here is super good at it. That is a horrible name. Dolce Man, huh? That's his name. How do you know it? Oh, I just kind of learned it as we played around, right? Oh my god, the, he's learning the demon speak? <laughs> or whatever the fuck? Uh, no, like, we got no idea what he's saying. It certainly sounds unfamiliar. Nothing like we've heard in Britannia. So is this the whole, like, apocalypse thing? And it's like, or is this something else? Oh my god, he's speaking it. <laughs> the weird line. Hey, what language is this? It's not originally uh, from Batania. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, so, um, why can you speak that? He's apostle tongue. Um, huh? Oh, why can I? And she's made it to the idol. There's the idol. If Ard was right, and this is the device that created the barrier and made the monsters look human. The moment I destroy it, they'll turn back. And this whole village will be in chaos. But we'll use the confusion to rescue everyone. I'm not... I'm, I'm seriously thinking that these might not actually be, like, bad people. They haven't done anything nefarious, necessarily their motives. Now, their leader, I think, is more problematic than anything. Um, I'm thinking that they are demons now. The more that we're getting more, like, little nuanced supplementary information. Because of, like, the demon speak that they kind of got going on. So I'm thinking they're from the demon realm, got trapped here, wanted to, or they migrated over here because of the whole, like, you know, opening of worlds and, you know, with Meliodas being here in the human realm, so to speak, you know, it's like, of course his people might want to migrate from the demon realm, you know, potentially, and it's like this could be one such settlement. <clears throat> but to kind of hide their true nature to not freak out the locals we got the barrier but like i said i don't know who the elder is he could be a powerful demon sorcerer or he could be some evil nefarious sorcerer who knows or he could be completely misunderstood but i like i said i'm i'm more inclined that he's evil opposed to the uh civilians if anything else let's see here Okay, she's got a rope, and she's just gonna pull it. I mean, the fact that it's that well balanced on such a small point probably implies that it's not gonna move. Okay, Slavin, start pulling. Can I really pull this down? I'll get you all kinds of yummy carrots later. Is that really going to motivate him? You, okay, now we're back in the wizard tower. You rather like that wing-haired, headed uh, boy, don't you? A strange and fascinating lad, yes. You shiver. What is this jolt of lightning? What on? Is the device malfunctioning? Oh, he can feel that or see it. Percival, Donnie, Sin, you better thank me for this. 
Carrots, carrots. That's where I'm gonna rescue all. Okay. Let's see here, they're pulling. Car! <laughs> I'll never be a holy knight if I can't pull off this much. Ugh. Crush the evil, rescue the weak, and be someone who risks their life for what is important to them. And it finally came off the point, and let's see what happens. Oh god, I, I did it! And it just smashed to pieces, okay. And now people are exploding? What? <laughs> what is that? That sound. Okay, we're getting the electrical discharge again, and people are starting to transform. Are they red demons? They might be red demons, based on that shade there. Huh. What the hell? What was that? Wow, that scared me, Dolce. They are red demons. So they are just demons in general, I bet. So we'll probably see all the colors, right? I was right, they are. It's a demon village. Oh. It seems to just be gray and red demons. Hmm. I was expecting a little bit more, you know, interesting colors, but... But I guess that would explain the blue-looking demon bird. Okay. What a bunch of kids. What a great bunch of kids they are. Wait. wait. They broke down the barrier. But those horrible demons. Wait. Who? He's... Ard is disrobing and... Oh, God. He is, uh... He's a knight. Oh shit, he has one of those staves. I forget what they were called. Stabs of chaos or something? Let the hammer of blood fall upon those other tribes. Yep, he's one of Arthur's men. Now is the time to return Britannia to the human race. Yet you have a giant dog demon. I do like your look, though. So... All things are now being revealed, and that being that Ard is a bastard. You know, one of the evil knights of Arthur. And that the cannibal village is actually just a village of demons that seemingly are very docile and, you know, just living their lives. But actually, it's kind of interesting the magic must really transmogrify them because like they they're massive normally and yet they're condensed down to a smaller size so it's doing more than just being an illusion it's straight up transformation magic which is we've seen before so it's not it's just not done in this way so yeah, so I guess it's just a colony of demons that wanted to leave the demon realm after Meliodas, like I said before. So, awesome. So that theory might have come true, though still want to know who the hell this elder is. We didn't get to see what he looked like if he isn't actually human himself. We don't know that just yet. But, uh, hmm. Not a bad chapter. We now know that Ard isn't a good guy, and the story of him like, oh, I saw them change when they left the barrier, blah, blah, blah. Like, that might have been true, but his intentions were probably not. He just, and also explains why he couldn't, and actually, that hasn't really fully explained. Is it because he is a holy knight, he couldn't go through the barrier, or is it something else? Like, maybe pure of heart like he wants to go there and slaughter the demons so i would say it's something like that if you hold no like prejudice or vengeance or any negative emotions that would wish to harm the demons you can enter their village through the portal but if you harbor such feelings maybe it blocks you out is what i'm assuming and that's why he needed them to break the idol and allow him to get in. So, hmm. 
I hate that his doggo is evil too. Shaggy pupper. It's a shame. But anyway, um, so yeah. Interesting to see where this is likely to go. Um, considering that um, Gorin has been taught to all of the demons, apparently, I'd like to see them all fight alongside, you know, our main group to defend their home. Now, that would be cool. Um, but yeah. Let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed or misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Help me reach 500 subs by the end of October. 500, 500. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Probably the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings. A demon village. Hmm. Who would have thunk?